Throughout history, golden ages of piracy have come and gone in all corners of the world. But some lawless individuals always make it farther than their contemporaries and become legends. These are seven pirates you may have never heard about. Cheng Shi, born in 1775, was a pirate queen who dominated Chinese waters in the early 19th century. Although not much is known about her birth, she was a prostitute who worked in the city of Guangzhou until she was captured by pirates. In 1801, she married Zheng Yi, the captain of a coalition of pirate fleets known as the Red Flag Fleet. After the death of her husband in 1807, Qing Shi took command of the fleet of over 300 junks and 40,000 men. By 1810, the Red Fleet is said to have grown to 1,800 sailing vessels and 180,000 crew members. To command so many people, Qing Shi essentially set up her own government to establish laws and collect taxes. She entered into conflict with the empires of the time such as the British, the Portuguese, and the Qing Dynasty, until she retired from piracy. She's considered to be the most successful female pirate, and one of the world's most powerful pirates of all time. Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard, was a notorious English pirate who operated around the West Indies and the eastern coast of Britain's North American colonies. His nickname came from his thick black beard and fearsome appearance. He was reported to have tied smoking fuses into his facial hair to frighten his enemies. Teach always wore a sling with three pairs of pistols strung across his chest, as well as several knives on his belt. During the winter of 1717 to 1718, Blackbeard cruised the Caribbean, taking prizes and collecting ships. When he arrived at the American coast in the spring of 1918, he was in command of four vessels and over 300 pirates. Blackbeard's reign of terror lasted until November of 1718, when he was killed in the bloody battle of Ocracoke Inlet. During the battle, he received more than 20 stab wounds and five gunshot wounds before dying. Saida al-Hurra was a 16th century pirate queen who operated in the western Mediterranean during the golden age of the Corsairs. Born around 1485 in Granada, Saida fled with her family to Morocco when the Islamic Kingdom fell during the Reconquista. At 16, she was married to Almandri, who was the governor of Tetouan in northern Morocco. After her husband's death in 1515, she assembled her own pirate fleet and allied herself with the Turkish Corsair Barbarossa, wreaking havoc on Spanish and Portuguese shipping lanes. After 30 years of ruling Tetuan and raiding the Mediterranean, she was overthrown in 1542 by her son-in-law. Anne Bonny, or Annie as she was also known, was an Irish pirate born sometime between 1697 and 1700. During her teenage years, she murdered a servant girl with a knife and put a young man in the hospital for several weeks after his failed attempt to sexually assault her. After marrying a small-time pirate, James Bonney, Anne was disowned by her father and moved to New Providence in the Bahamas. After arriving in Nassau, Anne was quick to engage in piracy and abandon her husband, falling into the company of Calico Jack. Although Jack had a reputation for cowardice, Anne was a brave and effective fighter that raised a new crew and captured many ships. In late October 1720, Rackham's ship was attacked and captured by the British man of war Albion. While Captain Rackham and the male members of his crew were sentenced to hang, Bonnie disappeared to live a quiet family life on a small Caribbean island. Calico Jack was an extravagant English pirate captain operating in Cuba and in the Bahamas during the early 18th century. Jack was known for his flamboyant style of dress and his desire for gold and treasure, 
Some say he was the original inspiration behind the character of Captain Jack Sparrow. He was not a great fighter and he never managed to accumulate much wealth, but the design of his Roger flag, a skull on two crossed swords, has become synonymous with piracy and lawlessness. Jack would also defy pirate traditions and allow women as crew members, such as Mary Reed and his lover Anne Bonny. On the 18th of November 1720, Calico Jack Rackham was hanged to death and put on display near Port Royal to serve as an example to his fellow pirates. Bartholomew Roberts was a Welsh pirate who raided ships off the Americas and West Africa between 1790 and 1722. He was the most successful pirate of the Golden Age of Piracy as measured by vessels captured, taking over 470 ships in his career. He took on Portuguese treasure fleets, attacked Dutch colonies and even assimilated a vanquished French warship into his pirate fleet. Called Pistol Proof by his crew members, he was a brutal murderer who decorated his ship with the hanged corpses of his dead enemies. He died in a vigorous battle against the HMS Swallow, a British ship of the line. Jean-David Nau, more commonly known as François Lolonais, was a French pirate captain active in the Caribbean Sea from 1660 to 68. In 1660, Lolonais began his ruthless career as a pirate captain by preying on Spanish ships and towns in the West Indies and the South American mainland. He was also known as the Flail of the Spaniards, describing the terrible cruelties he did to the Spanish people. He once cut up a prisoner, removed his heart, bit it, and then threw it at another prisoner. Lolonais met his end at the hand of the indigenous inhabitants of Darien Island, when he was captured and eaten by cannibals.